In this video, we will look at how to adjust your entire program from using a five day week calendar to a seven day week calendar. Now you can of course do this to a portion of the project. You don't have to do it for everything. And it doesn't have to be these specific calendars. This is of course just for the example. The reason that we're going to do it in this case is we want to make sure that our handover date at the end of the program comes to an earlier date. And we've worked out the only way to do this is to move from five day to seven day working. The first thing we need to do is make sure that everything that we want to adjust is on the current view. And what I mean by that is I'm at the program level, which is right at the top of my program. And also I've made sure that under the home tab, I've gone to show to level and then all levels. That will make sure that all of my summaries are open. Now, of course, if you just wanted to adjust a specific section of the program, for example, the pre-construction phase in this project, you could just click on that part of the program and only make the change to those tasks. The second step is to now highlight all of those activities. And the easiest way to do this is to simply click on any task and then press Control A on your keyboard. Note how everything is now highlighted. Step three is assign the calendar that you want to use. You can do this by either going into the properties of a particular activity, like so, and anything you change in there will adjust everything you have highlighted. Or in this case, what I'm going to do is come across to the project view panel on the left hand side of my screen, expand calendars, and then I'm going to simply drag and drop my seven day week calendar onto any of these selected activities, like so. Whenever you change the calendar, the software will want to know how you want those activities to behave. Now, in this case, as I said, I'm going from a five day to a seven day calendar. Clearly, this means that week by week, every activity has an extra two days. I'm going to retain the existing duration. What that simply means is that a six day task will still be a six day task. It just means that the dates are going to change accordingly. There are, of course, other behaviors that you can select instead if you want to. The next dialogue you're likely to see is asking you about the folding calendar. I will quickly discuss the folding calendar in more detail in a minute and I'll show you where you can change it. But fundamentally what it means is the folding calendar dictates the different exceptions that you can fold in or out of your bar chart view. And that will make more sense when I'll show you in a moment. Now that I've done that, at first glance, there's a lot of space between all those activities. And that is simply because we've got those extra two days every week. I now need to just reschedule the program and now everything has fallen back into alignment. More importantly, our handover milestone is now a much earlier date than it was earlier. The final thing you want to do if you're adjusting your main calendar is set it as your task default. Now what I mean by this is if we look over here, our five day week has a little red tick next to it. That's because it's our task default. And if I scroll to the bottom and draw a new task in the bar chart, this task here is still using the five day week calendar, like so. To set the task default, all you need to do is from the panel on the left, right click on it and go to task default on whichever calendar it is that you want to use. You may also get asked if you want to apply this as the default for other settings in the software, such as your date zone folding calendar, your subheading calendar, and also as a default in all your existing views. The reason why this comes up is because there are certain formatting options that are view specific that are affected by the calendar. Now I've done that, if I scroll to the bottom and draw a task again, and then check the properties of that new task, we can see it's using the seven day week because this is my task default. Now I mentioned earlier about the folding calendar. If you want to check or change your folding calendar, what you do is you right click on the date zone at the top of the screen here, go to properties, and you can see your folding calendar selected here. You'll notice underneath that it also says check to fold out of view and it's listing all the different exception types. What this means is anything that is ticked will not display in the bar chart. It will actually be completely collapsed out. As an example, non-working by default is ticked. The reason for that is if I go into the properties of the calendar, and you can do that by going into this little tick here, we can see that our work pattern has 
all seven days working in this seven day calendar, of course. And if I click on one of these working days, the exceptions are non-working until 8 o'clock in the morning, for lunchtime, and also from 5 p.m. until midnight. Coming out of here and going back to our folding calendar, we have non-working checked to fold it out of the view. And if I untick that, all of those non-working periods are now showing in our bar chart. And the task is necking where those non-working periods are. We don't necessarily want to see that, so we keep it ticked, click apply, and everything goes back to normal. Thank you for watching this tutorial video.